Logan Paul is still absolutely not a good guy. If you aren't already caught up, let me try to catch you up quickly on his recent controversies. He was recently exposed by a reporter by the name of Coffeezilla. I'm going to call him a reporter because that's what he does on his YouTube channel. He, he, he does investigative reporting. He's been working on a project here for over a year investigating the crypto zoo, uh, what we now will call it a, a, a scam that Logan Paul was in charge of. It was his project. Uh, he hired the crew. He brought everyone together to pull off this heist. So what basically happened was uh, through the investigation, CoffeeZilla was able to uncover lots of evidence that would suggest that this was a scam. Logan Paul was going to scam his audience or people that invested in this crypto zoo project by the means of a rug pull, buying assets in crypto zoo, buying uh, you know crypto zoo like like if you know what Bitcoin is, it's like the equivalent of that. It's a cryptocurrency, uh, buying assets. Uh, promoting it on his YouTube channel, his socials, which would jack up the price because of all his loyal followers that love him so much for only God knows why at this point. And then after this would happen, he would retract, he, he pulled the money out. And by him pulling out a large amount of the money, the profits would drop. I mean, it's basically just stealing money from people with a couple extra steps. So you're not literally just pointing a freaking gun to their head <clears throat> and stealing their wallet. Unfortunately, the criminals that Logan Paul hired to help him criminal, and that's the most basic way I think I can put that to really establish to you what, I, what, what was going on here, how bad it really was. But anyway, the criminals criminaled Logan Paul as well. They actually uh, took assets out. Logan Paul never actually pulled his uh crypto zoo out and um he also got scammed after this logan paul made a video responding to coffeezilla basically dismissing most of this uh the main premise seemed to be if i were to highlight it it was i didn't rob you because the people that i hired to rob you with me actually robbed me as well uh, that, that, that really was it i mean it, he deleted it now because it really was that bad of a response to coffeezilla's video but yeah, that really was the premise. It was the fact that, well, I didn't even take my money out because all of the criminals that I hired to help me rob you, uh, they they actually robbed me too. So I'm just like you now. That was supposed to alleviate him of any guilt, uh, I guess, or any way that it was his fault. Then shortly after this, well, not even really after this, it was this was still definitely something people were talking about. If you don't already know, he has this little miniature, well, he had this little miniature teacup pig. He used to vlog with it. It was his pet part of the family and it was found in a field in very bad condition next to another dead pig it was found by the sanctuary that posted online it was very quickly linked back to logan paul and uh, this this is this is what really kills me here his response to this his his beloved pig uh that was found uh dying in a field next to another dead pig his response after this was the matrix is real Pray you never become its target. And this is why I think he's still, I know, all right, in my opinion, this guy is still a piece of garbage, all right? He still hasn't taken down this ridiculous, dumb tweet. But to be fair, I don't know if anything actually sinister did happen with the pig. What happened was he did admit later on that he had given this pig away to an animal sanctuary. That animal sanctuary had closed down, the assets were taken by other companies, etc., etc. And after that, is now when we find the pig in the field. So could you argue that it was wrong for Logan Paul to give up his animal, his beloved animal, supposedly beloved animal, to an animal sanctuary in the first place after raising it? Uh, yeah, you could you could make that argument, but he didn't just kick it out of the house and leave it to die in a field, okay? That didn't happen. So uh, that's just the true context behind that and, and, and that whole thing. But this tweet, this tweet right here, the matrix is real. Pray you never become its target. He posted this as that was go as all this was going on, the, the pig, the crypto, uh, and he still hasn't taken it down. Unlike his response to Coffeezilla, this is still up. Uh, I think Mijo Schmo on uh, Twitter put it best. LMFAO, what an egotistical entitled piece of shit. Dude got caught scamming and abusing his influence several times, made an accusatory response video with no legs to stand on, fell over, and then cried that everyone is picking on him. And that, that, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty much how I feel about that. But now here, again on Twitter, he has posted another response to at least the crypto zoo thing. He already had explained the pig situation. I don't think he did anything wrong in that response. 
His original response to the CryptoZoo CoffeeZilla reporting was terrible. He took it down off his YouTube. But now he has posted this video on Twitter called My Three-Step Plan for CryptoZoo, including a $1.3 million reward program for disappointed players. Thank you, Coffee Break YouTube, CoffeeZilla. So again, uh, just uh, before I, I am going to react to this, um, I, I've not watched the video before, but going into this, uh, I would like to remind everyone that this is not the first time Logan Paul has been caught doing something crappy. Look up Dink Doink, okay? Look up, like, like this guy does... It, it, oh. He's not a good guy. <laughs> He's not a good guy, man. I don't know what makes him do this. He has such a good thing going for him and always has. He's only gone up. He's only done better, legitimately, without being a piece of shit. And he still continues to be a piece of shit. Even with whatever he says in this video, it is not the first time he has used cryptocurrencies to scam people. It is not the first time that he has done something shitty in general. And this is after... Over a year of this scam affecting the lives of the people who invested with him in confidence, okay? CoffeeZilla's reporting exposing him for being involved in manipulating the market in a way that would benefit him. And then, again, Logan responding to these reports by saying that Logan, uh, not Logan Paul, CoffeeZilla is a, is a no good reporter and that he, he's a criminal. So, I, honestly, at this point, I don't give a fuck what he says in this video. The dude is ridiculously wealthy and privileged, and for him to be finally acknowledging this, possibly in a more reasonable way, all after everything that's happened, all this time later, I don't give a fuck. But we're gonna watch it anyway. <laughs> Coffeezilla is not a criminal. I called him, I apologized. Uh, my initial response to his series was that of, of, of fire, uh, an ego, flair, whatever it is, pride. I'm a fighter at heart and uh, I was defensive because I know I never scammed anyone with this project. I never made any money, never sold any tokens and I only had the best intentions going in. Um, but the fact is the suing- Oh God, I wanna pause it, I wanna pause it. Okay. Oh my God. Okay, so I'm already pissed off and let me tell you why. This response uh, to CoffeeZilla is after him crying matrix, still leaving that tweet up, taking down the original response video. And honestly, the biggest thing here, I think, is the response video didn't work. The comments were riddled with, Logan, you fucked up. He was caught with his pants down, ladies and gentlemen. Logan Paul was caught with his pants down. Although, and he mentions this here, which is why I got really mad, he did not make any money. He was still planning on making money. He hired these people who scammed him with his fans, okay? Th that's not good, okay? If I go to rob you, okay? If I go into your house and I'm with five people, all right? And we're about to rob your shit. We're about to jack you for everything you got. And then at the very end of the robbery, the five other people also steal my money. I still tried to rob you. I'm still a bad guy. I'm still a piece of shit. When, whenever he says... Uh, he's not lying when he says, I didn't make any money on this project. He did not take any of his tokens out. That is true. But the intent was still to pull the tokens out. And if you do not, uh, if you think that I'm being speculative, I don't know. If you, if you need more evidence of that, please go watch CoffeeZilla's three-part series on the subject. Okay, I'm going to back it up a little bit and we're going to move on. Going in. Um, but the fact is, the suing CoffeeZilla is not going to help CryptoZoo holders. So I do need to focus my attention where it should be, which is on fans and supporters of me. You guys mean the world to me. So I'd like to announce my three step plan moving forward. Step one Jeff and I are going to burn our zoo tokens so we have no financial upside in the game and it will add value to holder tokens. Step two uh, we want to offer a rewards program for players who are disappointed in the status of the game. So essentially you're gonna be able to burn your, your base egg uh, or your base animal for the mint price, which was 0.1 ETH or the equivalent in BNB. I am personally committing a thousand ETH to this, which is about $1.3 million. I don't give a shit. I don't care. I don't give a shit. This is after you tried to sue coffeezilla and make everyone else out to be crazy that they were picking on you that the matrix was coming for you dude how much are you worth i don't give a fuck if you give a million dollars back i don't give a single solitary fuck dude let's look it up let's look it up i'm on youtube right now we're gonna look at logan paul net worth bah, bah, bah. net worth networks, networks aren't always accurate on the internet i'm pretty sure we're gonna be within the fucking realm of 
possibility. He has Prime. How much is Prime worth? People are killing each other over in the UK for this stupid energy drink. Logan Paul is an American YouTuber, boxer, internet personality, and actor. Logan Paul has a net worth of $45 million. And we're supposed to think this is a big deal, okay? What, what else do we have? We have in 2023... 245 million being reported, salary 5 million. If Logan Paul is worth $5 million, if, if he has $5 million right now, and I'm sure he's way up there, okay? He's got a lot of successful projects going on. He's a very successful YouTuber, influencer, boxer, WWE, Prime Energy. These are all things that Logan Paul is making profits on right now. If he's making if he even is $5 million, if $5 million, his salary is what we're going to go off of for how much money this motherfucker has to play with. Him giving a million back in PR after a year, after over a year, after crying, everyone's picking on me, after all this shit, if he decides that he's going to stick $2 million back into this project to try and save face, to give back to his fans who have been struggling now for over a year because he let them get scammed by hiring a bunch of criminals to run this crypto bullshit... I don't give a fuck. Fuck you, Logan. You're a piece of shit. It's like me robbing your ass again, okay? Took your fucking money. No, I, whatever. I tried to rob your ass, right? Now I'm being, now I'm being fucking sued for robbing your ass. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in big trouble, right? And I, but I still got like $10 million. I got like, I got like, I got like five grand in my savings account, right? And I'm like, yo, dude, my buddy stole $500 from you guys. All right, I'm really fucking sorry. I don't want to be involved in this anymore that I tried to rob you. I'm going to give you a thousand back. I still tried to rob you. And this is after a year, over a year. This was brought on by people calling him out. And even after being called out, this isn't his first response. He first tried to blame everyone else that he was being picked on. Everyone was bullying him. Yeah, I don't give a shit, dude. Not a good response so far. Better than his last one, but not a good response so far. Um, right now for players who want to get out. And then step three, Obviously, finish and deliver the game as outlined in the white paper by completing the uh, egg bridge from ETH to BSC for base animals and base eggs, completing the marketplace and, and obviously completing the releasing your animals into the wild to accrue your yield function. To say I am disappointed in how this was handled internally is an understatement. Um, there's a full internal investigation going on along with an audit and we are going to pursue full legal action for whomever needs to be held accountable. If any money is recovered in the process. It's you, it's you, this was your idea. You put it together. You've already been audited, Logan. CoffeeZilla put out his videos. You're admitting that he's not lying. You just admitted it in the beginning of the video that CoffeeZilla is, uh, you're apologizing. Stop, dude. I mean, what else were you going to do? I guess, right? Like if you're going to put out a video and try to save face, but like you're the guy. I don't give a shit that you hired a bunch of criminals and then they did criminal shit. You hired them. You put it together. You're responsible. You put the crew together. You put the project together. You were working with all these people directly and this happened and affected your fans negatively. You're responsible. It's you, Logan. You're the guy. It'll go right to the community. My sole obligation is to my supporters, and um, I know this video is long overdue. Here it is. I'm sorry, guys. I, I, I apologize um, for, for how this has unfolded thus far, and I want people to know that they can trust me and that I'll always take care of the fans and people who support me. Uh, I appreciate your guys' patience while we do our internal investigation, and I promise to be transparent and disclose any information we find out in the process. And lastly, thank you, CoffeeZilla. Um, you have catalyzed there it is. this, and I am very grateful for your work and your investigation. And I mean that. Thank you, bro. So, yeah, he's a piece of shit. He's a piece of shit. Uh, go watch coffee. He literally is like, thank you, CoffeeZilla. Thank you for your investigation. I was wrong about you. I'm not suing you. Blah, 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 blah. And then he's like, oh, we're going to do an internal investigation. We're going to find out who's responsible. And we're going to turn over any money found. What do you mean any money found? It's all on the blockchain, brother. CoffeeZilla already tracked that shit down for you. The guy that you're acknowledging in this video did a good job in doing so. You don't need to do an internal audit. I mean, I guess maybe you do on technically, but to bring it up in this fashion, in this video, as if you still need to do more digging to try to find the culprit to all this bad shit that happened, as if it isn't you, fuck you, Logan. You can't trust Logan Paul. 
if you're watching this video and you still were like on the fence about it, the dude's a bad guy. Bad dude, Logan Paul. Bad guy, Logan Paul. Controversial, Logan Paul. Watch me, Joe Schmo. Check out my shorts. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful weekend. Bye, I'm out. Did you know that 25% of the oxygen we breathe is utilized by the brain? Unless you're Aiden Ross, then that number is significantly lower. And I, I just want to say, bro, I, I think I'm ready, bro. I, I do.